Hi everybody, welcome to World Swamp. This is Fat Frog, and today we're going to talk about resources on Scorched Earth. Now they're spread apart um, pretty reasonably on this map, and uh, and that's good. One thing people um, probably have a hard time finding is silica pearls, because you associate silica pearls with the ocean. There's no ocean, um, there's just some sort of dried up puddles on uh, Scorched Earth, but there's a fair amount of silica pearls. Uh, that can be had. There's no trilobites to harvest them from. There's no beaver lodges, at least yet, that you can harvest them. So let's go take a look for them. And where you will find them is scattered out around where there used to be water or there is water. So here we are in the canyon. Um, that runs through much of the map. Let's take a look at it. So we're way up here towards the north, but that canyon pretty much runs um, kind of through the middle to the south. And you're not going to notice the silica pearls um, very easily, um, except uh, when they glisten like this. At night, they're really easy to spot. Um, and uh, here they are. So these are the clamshells. They look just pretty much like rocks. Um, so here's just the, the your average little uh, pebbles that you can pick up, um, the stone that you can pick up, and then here are our silica pearls. So let's just go ahead and pick those up. My resource rates are turned up a bit, so you may um, not collect as many. But those are your silica pearls. Um, they're found scattered throughout, so this is the rocks. Uh, they're really easy to see at night, so if you're still having a hard time uh, trying to find them, uh, just uh, look around at night. Some of them are down in the ponds. Here's some right here. Um, actually in the water. And so pretty much the Central Canyon is a great place to find them. They're just kind of scattered here and there, uh, but you can actually collect quite a few of them. The next thing we're going to talk about is metal. Now, just like on uh, pretty much the regular arc, the best place uh, to find metal is in the hills. So I just flew past my base, and then this is, I don't know, I guess it's a mountainous area. Uh, you can find metal scattered throughout up here. We'll just take a little quick zoom through here. I think I see a shiny metal node right there. There's a pretty high-quality one. If we zoom up this way, I think I just turned a little bit too much. Hey, dudes. All right, let's go look for it. Where did you go? All right, yeah, you take this little corner here, and then you can find some more metal, uh, some crystal. So let's get out our pick, which is the best thing to harvest this stuff. We've got crystal here. Did I turn up? There we go. So we got some crystal out of that. Then over here we have sulfur. We can collect some sulfur. And we've got a little bit of obsidian tucked in here and there. And then there's a metal node or two around there. Oh, that is an interesting looking Argentavis, isn't it? Um, I collect stuff up here relatively frequently, so I keep these guys around to clear stuff out. I might be too, have too much weight to... Where did that scorpion go? Let's get rid of him. So that's a problem with pretty much everything in any arc is that uh, most of the resources are sort of being guarded, so to speak, by um, a bunch of baddies. So I'll just show you quickly where we are. We didn't get very far from the Central Canyon. And here we are up in the north. Okay, one thing I thought I would add into the mix of sort of the mining resources is um, some of these plant-based resources that you get in scorched earth and you don't get elsewhere. So these are nice cactuses and you get cactus sap out of those. And probably the most important reason why you need cactus sap is in the uh, creation of adobe. So you can get cactus sap with, um, that is a cactus tree, I guess, because we got no sap out of it. But all you get out of a regular old cactus is uh, thatch and sap. Um, and you get that, and I think at one time you can actually eat it. Let's uh, look at our food. We're at 23. Does it go up if we hit use item? It went up one, so it's kind of like eating berries. Let's look at water. Is it going to go up? 
No, it's not going up for um, eating it. Uh, yeah, it doesn't make your water go up. Um, I think at one point it was supposed to, but it didn't. Um, out here in the east is a great place to find uh, the cactuses for harvesting cactus sap. There's also another type of tree that lives out here. There's one of my oils, with oil uh, pumps. We'll talk about that in a second. And uh, let's go take a look for those trees just to show you where to get uh, just regular old tree sap. Okay, I'm back and I'm going to show you where to get uh, regular old sap that you need for fishing and also some recipes. Uh, so let's break out the chainsaw and let's go collect some. They're from these fibrous looking Joshua trees with kind of the spiky needly leaves. Just run up one and cut her down. And there we got 10 sap. Now I think you can get sap from using um, an axe, but I think it's much more random to get sap. And the difference between regular sap over here, you can see it looks like amber. And uh, the cactus sap is, this isn't going to give you any water. You can't use it to make adobe. And the cactus sap is going to spoil. So we started out with a stack of 50. Uh, it hasn't even been five minutes. And uh, let's see, we have lost... Uh, two already so you, you can't just store it up for um, a rainy day when you uh, want to build adobe um, so we died while we were trying to do that we got ambushed by a couple of dire wolves and um, we uh, our armor is almost broken so we're going to go back home and repair it okay so we left our little area here now the best place to find salt that i found is out in the sand dunes so salt is uh, these whitish looking rocks that you might expect to have salt in them. So we'll run up here, grab that. So we're getting stone and salt out of there. Uh, then we can make preserving salt to make stuff in our inventories last longer because that is, let's just get rid of this stone. I don't need to be carrying around actually any of this stuff. Uh, maybe I should have kept the obsidian. I have actually have plenty of um, silica pearls back at home. So this is the best place. Again, I'll show you the map to show you where we are. We haven't gotten far. We were just up in those hills there. And then there's the canyon is right over there. So there's salt pretty much scattered throughout. Like I said, Scorched Earth actually does a really good job of spreading resources out relatively evenly. There's not a whole lot of places where there's just a ton of metal or a you know ton of silica pearls or whatever. Um, but uh, but yeah, it does a pretty good job. So let's go take a look for oil. Now one thing you can do to get oil is find an oil bug and you can just uh, walk up to it and press E or whatever that is on the controls on the Xbox or the PS4 and then uh, you will take a uh, small amount. I think it's about 16 or so oil and that might be all you need if uh, you just want to run Oh man, my Morella tops was killed. Oh, poor thing. I just had him on Wander. I don't really care. But uh, yeah, so that might just be enough to make a little bit of gasoline to fire up a generator or to uh, run a fabricator or something like that. Maybe you don't really need oil for much other purposes. So the oil oil uh, jug might be uh, might be all you need. See here is once again just sort of a. Uh, reminder of how well resources are sort of just scattered around there's another uh, nice node there for metal but we're gonna go out and look for oil now one thing that I guess that is different about scorched earth than the other arc maps is the uh, amount of oil that is out here and I think there's some just up this way is there not yes so with the oil, there's these uh, oil puddles that you find scattered around out through here. And you can put these uh, oil pumps on top of them and they will just sit there and harvest oil as time goes by. Now they seem to be bugged for a while and um, weren't harvesting anything at all. So um, yeah, they <laughs> it was pretty sad, but now it seems to be working again and uh, so we got some oil over there and I've got pumps scattered throughout so I don't really need this one so I will show you what that little oil puddle looks like so here it is what are they calling it an oil vein hundred of a hundred for its uh, 
durability. Now, I can't remember, can we harvest any oil by just using this? No. No, we can't. So anyway, those are, um, especially they're fairly easy to see from, from up above. You can see the little oil blemish like an oil spill. And uh, so they're relatively easy to find, but you will need an oil pump. But one of the nice things about Arc, is, or Arc Scorched Earth is you can get some pretty good stuff out of supply drops. And I have gotten all my oil pumps uh, probably well over a dozen. Um, just in uh, those beacons, um, the supply beacons. So, oh, here is an example of a oil jug bug. So you just walk up here. Let me just, uh, hold on a second. Let me dump this oil, and we'll see how much oil we get out of this guy over here. At least with the rates that I have. So I got 16 oil. Um, might be a little bit less under normal harvest rates, but I think it's actually the same. Um, so those are the main things. Like I said, over here, this is a pretty good area for resources. You've got the metal nodes scattered around. You've got the uh, the oil oil well areas are also scattered around pretty good. Um, not a, any real easy place to collect just tons and tons of resources, but well balanced. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, if you just take a look around in the rocky areas, you're bound to find some metal nodes. And if you're over here, let's just check a look at that map real quick. Come on, map. Oh, map. Okay, there we go. Um, over here in the eastern area, you're going to find a bunch of oil. So I hope you found that helpful, um, especially with the silica pearls. And if you have, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and thanks for watching.